All right, zero 08, dimensioning. I have a little drawing set up here. I'm going to dimension in my paper space, and I have my paper space dimension style set up. So the first one I want to do is a linear dimension. So for anything vertical or horizontal, we can use this linear dimension. I need my O snap on here. And I click to land it. I'll do this horizontal one. So I click the icon, or here's point A and here's point B. Now I click to land it, or I could type a value down here, 0.25, and enter, and that will be the distance away. If I want to continue this dimension, I can go to this icon continue and just go to point C and D and so on. To end the command, enter, enter. Sometimes you go to uh, do a continued dimension. It can't find the dimension that uh, so it gets confused. And if that happens, it, you need to tell it. I want to continue not this dimension here, so I would press S for select and say I want to continue this one. And then I can click my points and continue. If I want to dimension a circle, I can use this icon here for the radius. Just it asks you select arc or circle, you click on it, and click to land it. I can put this out there. If I want the diameter, I can do this one. And I think I'll put this one on the inside. And if I want to just have the center mark, I click this one. It asks me to click on the circle, and that puts that little cross in there. Now we've changed to architectural ticks for our paper space dimension style, but in a case like this we want an arrow. So I'm going to show you how to edit this. Double click and it takes you into properties. And you have a number of things here that you can adjust. I'm going to come into the lines and arrows. Here it is here. I click that. And it gives me the option to change to a closed filled arrow and you can see that that's changed. You could always move this uh, number around here as well. Uh, and change the style of that. Over here again, you can double click on it and change that to closed filled. If you have an angular dimension, you can use this one here. Click on it, select the arc circular line, so click here, second line here, and then third click lands it. And again, y these usually are arrows. So most of the time we do want the architectural ticks, but for some of these things, the proper format would be with an arrow. Uh, it's probably just worth showing you how to override dimensions occasionally. You don't usually want to do this, but sometimes you want to do an override on the text, and you can do that here. And let's say I just want to put for a foot zero is typical and enter and escape out of there and I have a different uh, text now. Sometimes you might want to do a leader line for some notes and that would be this icon here, quick leader. You click it, it says specify first leader point and that's the point that your arrow tip will touch. So you can see my snap is pulling me here. So I'm going to go and get my nearest snap and go right there. And if I have my polar on at 45, 
I can lock in that angle and come this way and I've just done these with clicks but I could have done direct distance to specify very uh, specific lengths there. The next prompt says specify text width. If I need to contain the text within an inch or so I could specify that now. One inch enter and then you just start typing and be in caps and it will wrap for you. So once you've finished, enter, enter. And you can see that in paper space, if I were to draw a rectangle or square that was exactly one inch by one inch, that text uh, it has been confined to that one inch space. Let's do that one more time. Quick leader. I want my near snap. That's the tip of my arrow there. I could put in direct distance and say go 0.5 of an inch here and 0.5 of an inch here and then it's asking me for my text width. If I just have a short uh, string of text, I can just enter and type. Enter, enter, and it shows up there. So over here I typed in the one inch parameter. Here I just accepted the zero and it would just continue my string of text and put it all on one line. Okay, I've just gone back into model space here just to uh, show you an example of editing. I'm coming back into paper now where my dimensions are. If you have a dimension that just doesn't fit quite right, if you click on it, right click, you can use this, you can move that with the leader line to put it in. You can dim text position, you can just center it, you can move it without a leader, just text alone and position it where you want. You can also go into the precision and round things off to the uh, accuracy that you want. You can also use grips to change the position of dimensions if you happen to have something very busy over here and you want to move it over. Or you can also use this one, Dimension Text Edit. If I click there, then I select the dimension, I hit Enter. Oops. Try that again. Hit that one. Select the dimension hit L for left, enter, and that will move the dimension as well. And the other thing is you can use this command, dd edit, select the dimension that you want. It takes you right into the text and if you wanted to or needed to change that, you can do it right there. Say OK.